All right, hello everybody. This is Zaxter99. Today we're going to be taking a look at Urban War Defense. This is a 3D, uh, looks like a graphically impressive little uh, tower defense game that launched back on July 7th. Hasn't got a single review on Steam yet. Uh, and I've basically just launched the game enough to look at the settings, this, that kind of thing, but have not played the game yet. It is an early access, and the developer is asking $9.99 right now for the game. And we're going to take a look at this game. The developer is Budgie Games, and this looks like their first title, at least on Steam. So we're going to go ahead and give this game a first look and first review in this video. Coming right up. All right, welcome back, everybody. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at Urban War Defense and see if I think this game is worth your 10 bucks in US currency. Uh, let's go ahead and launch the game. And it comes up with the default Unity launcher. It says made with Unity. Now, guys, this is already is a not a good sign. It means the developer has used the personal edition of Unity and spent no money at all uh, to use Unity. And this is usually an indicator of a developer that is really... Uh, really trying to make a game and put it up on Steam at no expense whatsoever, at no or minimal expense. I mean, he might have spent something on assets, but I doubt it. He probably just simply used free Unity assets in this game. So already not a very good first impression. Uh, comes up with this window here. I don't know why the screen is shaking. I mean, what does this look for? And we have... Okay, full screen on and off right there. <laughs> um, it comes up in a windowed mode, guys. If we go to options, this is one thing I looked at when I first launched the game. There are no full screen options whatsoever. Uh, this is not even set on your resolution by default. You have to actually go in and set this to one of the resolutions available. Uh, texture quality, you have three different options, high, medium, and low. No sound options whatsoever. Uh, no music, anything like that. We have anti-aliasing, uh, none, medium, high, and very high. And uh, V-Sync, uh, we have it off or, you know, a couple other settings. We're just going to go ahead and launch it without V-Sync or anti-aliasing and see how this game does. See if it's fun. All right, guys. So when we first launch the game, it comes up with this. It shows us a map. And WASD do nothing here. Uh, again, no kind of tutorial, no kind of introduction, nothing like that. I mean, the game is in early access, but you would expect that there would be at least some kind of introduction. The arrow keys here do not move me. So I just want to see how many different levels there are, how many different maps there are, if you would. Okay, so if I left click and drag the map, I can do that. And I see we have a total of four different maps, and that's it. For 10 bucks, guys, this is not making a good first impression already. Yeah, I mean, there looks to be no other uh, maps except four. All right, well, let's go ahead and go with one. Oh, what the hell is going on here? Okay, so what launches us here into the game, my first look at the game right now is right this. We have a broken road. Okay, what the hell's that sound? Are they already coming? What? Where are they? Are they flying up in space? No. Um, I'm assuming WASD again do nothing, and they don't. You know, why Why would a developer not make WASD, uh, you know, do the same thing as the arrow keys and move through your level? Really, really lazy uh, coding here, if you ask me, to require me to use the arrow keys and not even give me an option of using WASD which is you know the common default keys for something like this so I know the game's in early access but you would think before you launch a game like this on Steam especially with a ten dollar price tag you would put in a WASD option something besides the arrow keys alright guys how do I move up um like raise the, okay raise the camera is mouse wheel down 
All right, so we have this here. Is this what we're trying to protect? Because we have a little, um, what is that? We have a little tent here that looks like complete crap. And this, this texturing, guys, is god-awful. When you look at the ground closely, it looks really, really stretched. Um, yeah, I am, I'm not impressed right now at all. I just got to be honest here. Now, I mean, it looks like the developer has used a pretty nice looking tree, but it's the same tree over and over and over and over and over again. He doesn't even have two different trees, it doesn't look like. He used the same tree and just copy and pasted it all over the level. Um, again, a more lazy work, it looks like, by the developer. And we have the path coming through the mountain here, which looks all right. But right here, guys, this is what I'm talking about. Lazy work here. Um, tell me if that looks good right there, guys. Again, I, I don't mean to be too critical on a game in early access, but remember, this is a game the developer is asking 10 US dollars for. And this is what you get. Um, and the only thing I even see about this level that even looks good right now is I guess the I guess the mountains look okay the ground looks like complete garbage and the fact that he used the same tree over and over and over again is not impressive at all okay so over here is this where they're launching from are we trying to protect the tent over on that side since there's nothing to protect over here it doesn't give you any kind of indicator which one is where they're launching from and which one is where you're trying to protect I guess we'll find out. Alright guys, so up in the top left we have waves 0 of uh, 1. Enemies alive 0, enemies killed 0. That, that would be information you would get once the waves start. Uh, health 0. Oh, wait, health is 50, sorry. I thought it said $0. Uh, money is 380. Okay. Yeah, I thought the uh, 5 there was a dollar sign but it's not it's health 50. why would your health not start at 100. okay i mean why not just make your health start at 100 so it makes sense and then double the damage or whatever uh that's weird to have your health start at 50. all right well, if we click down here on the screen indicator yes this gives us our options we have a machine gun with a radius of 8, damage of 0 0.2, a delay of 0.16, so it's pretty fast it looks like. And it targets both. Both what? And then we have a missile tower. Now this one does 0.25 damage. A little more damage. It has a 50% bigger radius, but the delay is way longer. Way longer delay, and this gun costs twice as much. And again, it targets both. Both what? And both air and ground defenses, uh, enemies, I guess. So our first two guns target both air and ground uh, enemies. And then we have a cannon tower. It only, uh, it only blows up ground. And it's 40 bucks, radius of eight. Damage, however, is two compared to 0 0.25 or 0 0.2. Yeah, this one does, for 40 bucks, this one does way more damage. I think we're going to go ahead and go with the cannon towers, guys, right now, and hope that there's no aerial attacks, our first wave. All right, let me move up as far as I can so I can see. All right, give me my cannon tower here. Maybe we'll go ahead and do one that has both, just in case we get, like, one aerial attack. Okay, so let's go ahead and go here. Uh, okay, I like that it shows you the range. Okay. N he needs to... I, I think I heard something real faint when I actually put that in, but it would be really uh, more satisfying to hear some kind of a mechanical, you know, like installation sound uh, when we set that gun there. Uh, really, really faint. It sounds like I heard something, but I could barely hear it. So he definitely needs to increase the volume like 10 times on that. Uh, whatever it is. Let's go ahead and put another uh, 
ground attack here. Uh, cannon tower. And yeah, trying to move through these mountains here, guys. The cannon. Not move the cannon, but trying to move the camera through this uh, map is very clunky, to say the least. I mean, I almost have to work to work at it. It's not smooth at all. So, for example, I can get stuck over here, it looks like. So you can get your camera stuck behind these mountains he's created. Not, not cool. Alright, and boom. I have 260 bucks left. Can I improve these now? If I click on it, usually with these tower defense games, if you click on the gun, it'll show if you have improvements available. Yeah, for 50 bucks, more than the thing costs, I can improve the level to 1. It's at level 0 now. The radius to 10, I can add 50% more damage up to 3. The delay is lower. Oh, yeah. And uh, it still can only target one thing at a time, but we're going to go ahead and do that. And I can upgrade it again as well for 60 bucks. And I can also increase the damage by another one and to decrease the delay. Guys, I think this is going to be worth it to build, you know, super mighty guns. Okay, so you can upgrade it to level 3 and that's the highest. Um, here, we're going to go ahead and upgrade this one as much as we can as well. And then here, we can't afford an upgrade on that one, but we have two maxed out here. And for 40 bucks, let's go ahead and put something over here that can do both. I'm assuming we could put something over here. That one's 80. We can't afford that one. But this one will, the machine gun will target both aerial and ground attacks. And we have uh, five spots to put it in. We're just going to go ahead and throw it right here. We can't afford to upgrade it or anything, guys. We're out of money. All right, let's go ahead and launch these guys and see what happens. I don't know if this is what we're trying to protect, if they're going to be coming... Uh, See what I mean about moving the camera is a little bit janky for sure. Launch. It must be coming over here. Yeah, they're coming over here. Okay. Ooh, yeah, we're doing a lot of damage. Oops. Sorry about that, guys. I clicked on my second monitor and it caused the game to freeze there for a second. Oh no, one of them got by with like no damage. There it goes, it got a little bit there. Some of these go really, really fast. Another second one here barely got even hit. Yeah, they're, I think a couple of these are gonna get through. Machine gun does pretty good, but maybe you need to buy one of those and upgrade that one too. Yeah, cause two of them are gonna get through, damn it. Okay, so we uh, we killed 13, but two of them got through. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Okay, guys, hang on. Okay, this is a problem right here. We have, we, we are now on wave two of three. And it did not even give me a chance to spend my money. So it gave me more money for defeating the first wave, but did not even give me, there's no pause here. There's no... Uh, no ability to stop things and set new guns out or do upgrades or anything like that. It just launches wave two immediately. Uh, I don't like that at all. Uh, so it launches the second wave here. It doesn't give you a chance to spend your money. Yeah, that is very, this is very amateurish to be on Steam right now, especially with a price tag of 10 bucks. I mean, yeah, you can probably buy this game and have some fun. But for $10, guys, right now, you, there is so many better games in this kind of, uh, this type of game for 10 bucks right now. <sighs> All right, so let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and use our money over here, I guess. Let's go ahead and upgrade this bad boy. Bam, bam, upgrade him all the way. Let's go ahead and buy another machine gun. I'm having to work really fast here. Let's go ahead and buy one of these, upgrade it. Go ahead and buy another one of these, upgrade it. Bam, bam. And what else can we buy? 120 left. 
Let's go ahead and get to buy another one of these and uh, upgrade it. Okay, so we're getting money as we destroy these things. Okay. So you don't have to wait until the wave's over to actually start upgrading. It pays you as the enemies die. Okay, so we're doing okay now. Now it's going to go ahead and launch wave 3 of 3 right now, I'm sure. Yeah, 255. I can't upgrade these things anymore. I don't have any more spots over there. Um, no free grids. Okay, so no free grids for placing new units. And everything's already upgraded the most it can be. Okay. So what are we waiting on now? There we go. So there are a lot longer pause there between waves two and three than between one and two. Yeah, these things are getting blown up right now. I'm curious to see if we succeed here. Oh, we have a uh, we have something flying. I mean, I can't see it. Like, I hear a plane or something flying, but I can't see it anywhere. It's kind of weird. I mean, I'm trying to look up as high as I can. But I couldn't see the flying uh, enemy. And I don't know, guys, if this is simply an asset flip. I mean, for all I know, this is something available on the Unity store just like this. And he's, like, made no modifications at all. I have no idea. I... I'm not going to spend the time to research this, so, you know, I, this could be an asset kit. I hope it's not, but it feels really, really um, in incomplete. It doesn't feel like it's worthy of being on Steam at a $10 price tag right now. Alright, so we killed all the enemies there. Enemies alive, one. Okay, I hear a plane, but I don't see it. I guess we killed it. Yeah, we had 69 killed. Now we have 70 killed. But you can't even see it. Uh, yeah, the camera needs work, guys, for sure. All right, guys, so after that, it doesn't give you any kind of indicator that you won or a yay or a congratulations or anything. No statistics, nothing. And it just get, opens up level two here for you, or map level two. Uh, and we've been playing this game, what, 15 minutes now? And we're already on map number two. We're going to have, I assume, three waves here. And, uh, and then we have two more maps after that, and then you're done. So you're probably talking about an hour to an hour and a half's worth of content here for $10. That is not a good value, especially considering the uh, really janky and uh awkward control system this game has the bad textures uh the awkward like i say camera movement uh in this game not a good value at all uh pay in basically 10 bucks an hour for this game uh for all the content available um, i'm assuming that each of these other maps only has three or four waves available but you probably have a maximum of two hours of content right now in early access at ten dollars Let's go ahead and grade this game based on what's available now at a $10 price tag. Now, some people out there may think it's unfair to grade a game that's in early access. Uh, I don't, however, because if a developer wants to put a game up in early access and start selling the game for money, just like I have with my own game, Rock and Roll, uh, it's in early access as well. Uh, I think it's fair to grade the game based on what kind of value it gives you when he starts asking money for it. So let's go ahead and do that now, guys. Value is the most important score of any part of my scoring. It's worth 40% of the overall score. And out of 40 points, guys, the value here for $10 is horrible. Uh, we're basically paying 
probably five to ten dollars an hour for all the content available for janky controls horrible textures uh the same tree copy and paste so let's go ahead and take a look at the second map here just to get a look at it and again we have the same tree again and again but at least we have a couple of different uh different things here on this map looks like it has some and these are just going to be basic free buildings this doesn't look like anything special that he's bought but at least it is a different map uh for the game but i'm not impressed guys not for a ten dollar price tag i gotta be honest so again uh yeah and we only have three waves here on this map that we're going to move on to the next map like i said less than two hours with the content here uh, and the replayability is probably going to be extremely low. This isn't going to be a game that you're going to want to play over and over and over again, uh, especially after you beat it and what's here. So value, guys, for $10, I'm going to give this game a... I feel like I'm being generous here, guys, by giving this game a 3. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 40 for value. The value is just horrible on this game right now. Uh, only offering you four different maps looks like three waves of each map i'm assuming that's the case and only four different maps available really really bad value so guys one of the best tower defense games available on steam right now is defense grid the awakening now this game might have launched back in 2008 but this game is far superior to what we have here in every way a uh, ton of different maps the enemies the ai the enemies that you're going to be trying to destroy look great move great and the maps look amazing as well the cameras are also not clunky and awkward like we have in this game and just look at the variety and the complexity of the enemies that you have in defense grid the awakening and guess what guys this game with overwhelmingly positive reviews in my opinion one of the best tower defense games i've played on steam this game is available for the same price nine dollars and 99 cents there is no way in hell that this game here compares to Defense Grid, The Awakening. Now, Defense Grid does have a sequel, The Defense Grid 2. I believe it's 15 bucks right now. The graphics do look better, but the game is not better. I would recommend Defense Grid, the original, even though it was made nine years ago now. Uh, one of the best tower defense games I've played and far better than the uh, sequel uh, in Defense Grid 2. But both of those games are way better than Urban War Defense. And this game doesn't even make a mole on Defense Grid's butt uh, in comparison. Guys, let's go back to Urban War Defense here. And for fun, guys, the fun is just not here. Why isn't the fun here? Because the animations, the enemies look so terrible. The options are so few. And the camera controls make it a frustrating experience i can't say that uh this game isn't a little bit of fun because it's a little bit of fun i guess but your replayability is just not here and uh i i hate to knock a new indie developer because i'm a new indie developer with a game myself right here on steam and it's hard for me to knock somebody for you know making their first attempt but this game is just not worth the $10 right now in early access. And maybe if he really works a lot on the game uh, and tries to fix a lot of this stuff and adds a lot more content and fixes, you know, and if he fixes the camera controls and the awkward movements and makes it so you can at least see the planes flying in the sky, uh, he needs a lot of work done to this game to even think about asking a $10 price tag, especially, like I say, when those games made almost 10 years ago that are far superior in defense grid the awakening fun guys i'm going to give it a 10 out of 30 uh, and i think that's being generous next criteria for the game is controls and bugs how well does the game control and and uh you know how are the bugs okay guys in urban war defense if you're not careful what's going to happen is you're going to have your camera uh completely screwed up and you're not going to be able to see anything and i've already got without even trying uh, I've already got my camera stuck inside the mountain like you see here. Now, does this look good? This is something that can happen in urban war defense. Look at this, guys. My camera right now is stuck inside the mountain. Uh, it looks all red and weird. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I mean, if you think that this looks good, uh, this should never happen. This is something you'll never see happen in a game like Grid Defense, The Awakening. Uh 
This is horrible. And right now, I know it's early access, but this is something that should not even happen ever uh, in a game that they're asking 10 bucks for on Steam. And right now, guys, I can't even get out. Like if I try to push forward and get my camera out, I cannot escape. So my camera is stuck right now inside the mountain. So if I come over here and I try to get my camera out by hitting left, I can't move. And I didn't even try to do this, guys. I was simply trying to move my camera around to take a look at the freaking road. And I can definitely see this happening to people who purchase this game. Um, I don't know how to get out. Do I need to lower my camera maybe? No, I can't escape. So my camera has gotten stuck inside the mountain. This should never happen, ever. So controls and bugs, guys. Uh, like I say, the controls are also frustrating because he doesn't even have the option to use WASD uh, in the game. Uh, you are forced to use the arrow keys and forced to use the mouse wheel to move up and down. Oh, there we go. I did get out of the, the mountain there. Okay, so I escaped. But I think that people that aren't really familiar with these buggy kind of games like I am are going to get super frustrated. If you don't have a lot of experience with these crappy, uh, really rushed games, you're not going to want to play this. You're going to get your camera stuck inside the mountain or behind trees or whatever, and you're going to get, you know, because it's not user-friendly at all. Uh, right now on this first map, it requires you to maneuver very carefully between all these crevices to move up and down this map. Uh, it's not user-friendly at all. It doesn't help you. Uh, move your camera from one end to the other and I hate to nitpick here guys but for this reason controls and bugs scores horribly uh, 2 out of 20 and I feel again I feel like I'm being generous at that and last criteria guys is graphics uh, and sound how are the graphics and the sound well the sound it doesn't have any kind of background music which I'd like to see in a game like this uh, and the sound effects are really really lackluster and in fact, the volume on the sound effects it needs to be increased, especially for things like uh, installing a gun uh, in one of your places. So, for example, when we install one of these guns, I can't even hear anything. I can't even hear the installation of that gun. Uh, that volume needs to be increased. I faintly heard it one time, but he needs to increase the volume like about 20 times higher than it is right now, it sounds like, uh, to even give you any kind of a satisfaction or... Uh, a confirmation that you've placed a gun uh, without that it's just really unsatisfying and that takes away the, from the fun of the game and the experience the overall experience but guys it's really hard to recommend this game when there's so many better way better tower defense games uh, that may not look you know as visually as impressive but are far far better uh, especially for the price tag of nine dollars and 99 cents uh, graphics and sound guys this thing gets a five at best and again i think i'm being generous there so if you add everything up so value guys i gave a three fun were 30 points i gave a 10 and i think i was being generous on that uh controls and bugs thought i was being generous giving it a two out of ten so now we're at 15 and then you add in a five for the graphics and sound here which I think is generous, especially considering the fact that he used the same tree over and over and over again. He only has four maps, and, uh, you, you know, uh, it's just really lackluster. There's no clouds in the sky. There's, there's nothing here to, to really make you want to play the game over and over again, even if the game had any kind of replayability. You add it all up, guys, you get a 20% out of 100, uh, and a horrible value at $9.99. If this game was a dollar... I might be inclined to give it a much higher score. It might score like 35 or something like that, uh, or a 40, and it might get, you know, at least if you're a big fan of tower defense games, it might get a thumbs up on buying it. If you're a huge fan of tower defense games, you just want to play every tower defense game you can and hope this one, you know, gets a lot better. But I have my doubts that this game's ever going to see much improvement, guys. Uh, like I said, uh, just not an impressive showing for the $10 price tag. My score, a 2 out of 10, a not recommend. This has been my first look and review, uh, first impressions review of Urban War Defense in Early Access. For $9.99, a 20% and a not recommend. Thanks so much for watching. If this video has helped you out, be sure you give me a like on my video. Be sure you comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Am I being too hard on this game? 
or do you think my scoring is right on? Be sure you let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure you share this video. Be sure you like my video. Take care, everybody. Have a good one. Peace.